before we learn what are the difference between multiples and factors, I think it's important to see what are the mistakes done by students, okay? So let's show you this student. Uh, you can see that he wrote multiples, but actually ended up writing the answer of factors. So they always confuse between these two, you see? And then another thing that I can show you is that they, they actually missed out the factors here. So they, they can miss out certain factors, all right? Okay, let's show you another mistake done by the student, all right? So this student right here wrote multiples, but actually gave the answer of factors, okay? Now, one more time. The student wrote the word multiples, but actually gave the answer of factors. So when I was marking this, right, really can give me a heart attack, you know. <gasps> okay, so how do we memorize the difference between multiples and factors, okay? So you have to learn multiples first. Multiples sounded like multiply. So you need to do the multiplication table. So I have done the multiplication of 2, 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 2, 4. So let's read the first question. List the first 5 multiples of 2. So highlight the first 5 and multiples of 2. So basically, you just need to give the first 5 answers, all right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And that will be the answer for the first question. So 2, 4, 6, Eight, and finally 10 the first five only all right so don't take 12 12 is the six multiple all right let's see question two over here list the first three multiples of five so you need to underline or highlight first three only and then multiples of five so the answer for this question two right here is basically five ten and fifteen so remember only you only want three answers for it the first three now let's look at question three. List the first five multiples of six. So always underline the keyword. We want the first five and then multiples of six. So the answer for this question three uh, is six, 12, 18, 24, and finally 30. So make sure you have five answers only. And this is how we memorize multiples sounded like multiply so you do multiplication and the answer are multiples all right so that's how you know okay let's look at example two factors so factors is like the other way around you need to think about division okay how a number can be divided nicely into a whole number so let's look at the first question list all the factors of 10 okay so remember to highlight or understand the question factors of 10 that means 10 can be divided by what number let's see so 10 can be divided by 1, all right? Can be divided by 2. Now, you cannot write 3 because they cannot be divided nicely into a whole number. So what is the next number that you need to think of? It's actually 5 and then finally 10, all right? Remember that 10 can be divided into itself 10 also. So that are actually the answers for this first question, all right? Let's see question 2. All right, list all the factors of 12. So I'm going to teach you a trick how to make sure that you don't miss any factors, okay? So what you need to do, 12 can be divided by 1, and then you have to think about what times 1 will become 12. So what do I mean? You just write 12 like this first, and then think about 2 can be divisible or not. 12 can be divided by 2 or not. If can, then you're going to write down the answer, 2, and think about what times 2 will become 12. That's actually 6. Alright? Again, how to know 12 can be divided by what number? You need to think 12 divided by 3 will give you the result of 4. That means 12 also can be divided by 4 itself. Now, you can use a calculator to cross-check this. And this is how you actually ensure that you don't miss out any factors. Okay, let's practice a few more times and you will understand what do I mean. So list the factors of 5, okay? Now, you need to think about 5 can be divided by 1 all the time. And think about what times 1 will give you 5. So that's the answer, 5. It always comes in a pair, okay? All the factors always comes in a pair. Just remember that. Okay, the bigger the number, the more factors they have. So I wrote down the answers for this question for list all the factors of 24. So 24 can be divided by all of the numbers that I wrote over here, okay? 
So how to know whether we missed out any factors or not? You need to use a little bit of multiplication to check. Okay, what do I mean? 1 times 24 will give you 24. Okay, they always come in a pair. 2 times 12. Alright, see that? 3 times 8. And finally, 4 times 6. So that's how you check. Always use the calculator if you are allowed to use. Or otherwise, you're just going to use manual calculation and check whether you got miss out any factors or not. Right? So I hope you enjoy the lessons and I will see you in the next video. Bye!